Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. I would like to apologize for my lack of professionalism. I'm not very good at making videos, but let's get on with it. So what I'll be doing here is connecting a PlayStation 4 controller via Bluetooth to the PC and uh, then running Fortnite wirelessly using the PlayStation 4 controller. So what you'll need is DS4 for Windows and you will need Steam. So I already have the two downloaded. I'll link them down below and I'll show you the steps from here on out. So you'll go to Windows, you'll click Settings, you'll go on Devices, and then you'll click Add Bluetooth or Other Device. And so you wanna click the first option. Now I'll actually have um, a segment of footage where I'm actually doing this on my controller so you guys can see for reference. But what you'll do here is click Bluetooth and then you want to click your PS button and share button at the same time until you see a light flash. So I'll give you guys like a little snippet of that. But for me, it is flashing right now. And here you can see I see wireless controller. So now that I'm connected, I'll click done. Right down here is setting up the device. So we're good to go over there. Now, that's not all you're going to need though. So you want to get to Steam, you want to get to Steam again, and go to Settings. You'll get to Settings here, and you want to click Controller, and you want to click General Controller Settings. Once you do that, you want to make sure that you have this enabled, and from Factory it's not going to be enabled, but once you enable this, it should help you with this step, because there's another step after this. So we're not quite done yet, I set mine to 30 minutes until shut down it's defaulted to 15 minutes but that's that and then we can leave this and hit ok and you just minimize steam there then you want to go on ds4 for windows you want to run it and you're going to have this running in the background while you're playing as you can see the status over here shows that i'm connected by a bluetooth and I have created a profile. To create a profile, you click new. It creates a profile. You can edit some things over here if you would want to, but I was fine with whatever was here. And then you click save. I already have one saved as PS4, and then I guess a default. I'm not sure which one's running, but both of them are the same. I was messing around. Here, let me delete this. But once you've got it connected, and you might actually have to connect your PlayStation controller one time to your PC with the cable during this setup process for DS4. But there's plenty of videos on how to set up your controller using DS4. Um, the only thing difference in our case was that we'll be using the controller via Bluetooth. But so basically, if you see any video for DS4 Windows, you know, that's exactly what you would do. Except, oh, I don't know why I exited it out. You actually want that, you wanna minimize that. But the only different step I am showing you guys here is the thing that I did in Steam. That is the main component to being able to run Fortnite wirelessly on your controller. I, I saw a video, it showed everything except for that part and I saw a bunch of comments underneath it where everybody was confused and they did not know what was going on because not everybody has Steam downloaded. Not every game requires Steam. Now, if you click Fortnite, I can use my controller. You can see there's the X button square button, triangle button, all of those are here, R1, L1, and it is all working. So if you uh, found this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you have any criticism, feel free to criticize down in the comments below. And that should be it, guys. Thank you.